Hello, today's Bible study comes from the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5, verses 3 through 5, and it reads as follows. Give proper recognition to those widows who are really in need. But if a widow has children or grandchildren, these should learn first of all to put their religion into practice by caring for their own family, and so repaying their parents and grandparents for this is pleasing to God. The widow who is really in need and left all alone puts her hope in God and continues night and day to pray and to ask God for help. Well, the first part sounds just like the way we should be brought up. Give proper recognition to those widows who are really in need. Those that don't have anyone. Those that are by themselves. Honor these widows. And it, it tells you this. Um, you got to remember back in that day, back in their day, there was no services like we have now. We have come somewhere in the future and moved forward to assisting our elderly and widows and the fatherless and all that. But back in the day, they didn't have that. So honoring them was huge, mainly because women didn't have a high status back then and being a widow made you susceptible to a lot of bad things um and if they didn't have the support of their husband who was deceased and they didn't have any children at all and they couldn't work mm, um, these were women who was subject to be without and they're saying honor these people they are really the widows they are really the ones that are in need and we should help them and as Paul explains this in Timothy he says these are really widows and the, the ones that were they were to be honored but then he goes on further and he says but if any widow has children or grandchildren let them first learn to show piety at home and to repay their parents. See, now there, here's a situation. You have someone that can care for you. And the ones that shouldn't be helped by the church or shouldn't be waiting on the church are those that have family. Because this is how you show your Christ-like ways, by helping, by loving on this one and, and he says let them first learn to show piety to home and to repay their parents and this is just our responsibility he says the as we grow as I've grown the adult children myself to my parents I have a responsibility towards them and my grandparents we have that responsibility. And if that is the case, the church does not need to step in first because there's somebody there. We need to step in first. If you look over in the Asian countries, they do more for their elderly. And we have to get back to loving on the elderly and doing for the elderly. When they were not the elderly and they were feeding us and clothing us and taking us to our doctor's appointments and giving us money and allowing us to do things off of their work it was a different story and now we need to let them do things off of our work and our kindness and our love for them because it was shown to us so we still have work to do we still have things that we should do and this is how we put our religion into practice, as I said, by showing this love. We are marked by love. We should show love, and love is an action. Stop speaking love and start showing love. And we need to do this, especially for our elderly. I, I wish my grandparents were still here so that I could do things for them. My parents are here. Thank you, Jesus, that I can do things for them. But man... To do something for my parents' parents, 
that was amazing to me. It was like a drug at times where I just couldn't wait to see him and do something for him and watch him smile. We needed to get into this more. And we have left that. We have left that. But the widow who is really in need. Uh-oh. Now this is the one that is really in need and left all alone. They are left all alone. All of their hope is put in God. Everybody else had somebody here to show and do. But the one that is really alone puts everything in God. And they continue night and day to pray. Uh oh. And ask God for help. Everything that they are about or will be is about asking God and being totally dependent on God. God has servants for the other ones that do some of the work. But they that are totally without have no vessels for the Lord to use per se. So they depend totally on God to provide a vessel. And we all should start practicing to be more vessels for folks. Amen.